What's going on YouTube? This is your boy Jeremy Frazier, AKA That Financial Guy, here to talk to you about compound interest. And the reason why I wanna talk about compound interest is because it's so important to building your wealth. All of the rich people take advantage of compound interest. And compound interest is essentially when you deposit your money into an asset that accrues over time. And depending on that amount of time will depend on the amount of interest you can get off of that. So for instance, there's many different kinds of assets that grow compoundly. And some of those assets can be a savings account, it can be a 401k, it can be ETFs, mutual funds, and it can be your personal stock portfolio, anything that's accruing interest and accruing it in a compounded way can be a benefit to you to build your wealth. So back here on the whiteboard behind me, I'm gonna give you guys an example to kind of help explain how compound interest can be a benefit to you in increasing your wealth. So let's take a look at the whiteboard here and get a simple example of compound interest. Uh, here are the different variables and components of what makes up the formula for compound interest down here in blue. And A is for the final amount P is for the initial principal balance. This is the money that you deposited into your asset to start accruing interest. R is the interest rate. This can be 5%, 10%, 1%, 1.5%, uh, depending on the type of asset that you are utilizing, your interest rate will vary. Then you have the number of times uh, interest is compounded over a certain period of time. Uh, that can be some semi-annually, it could be annually, it could be monthly, daily, um, and that will affect how much interest you get. And then you have the number of time periods that elapsed. So are we looking at one year, two years, 30 days, and etc. And I just want to use a simple example. Let's think about it this way. Let's say you have $10,000 in your savings account. Right now, savings interest rates are trash you'll barely get a half a percent interest yearly with your savings account. So with that being said, you're getting a little under $100 in interest a year off of $10,000 in your savings account. So let's say you're like, I need to figure out a way how I can increase my wealth because this savings account ain't it. So you go into mutual funds and ETFs and you figure out, oh, wow, like there's an ETF that exists that gives you uh, an annual interest rate of 10% on average. You, but you said, I'm, I'm not quite ready to invest the full $10,000. I don't really know how this works yet. So let me take half of that, which is $5,000. And let me put that into a mutual fund that grows at 10% interest annually. So when we look at that and we plug those numbers in to our compound interest formula, after year one, we get $500 in interest. With half the money we had in our savings account, we made over $400 more with half of that in this mutual fund. And this is the beauty of compound interest. This interest you make gets compounded and added back to your initial principal in year two. So this is year one. So now let's look down here at the example of a five-year period with an average of a 10% interest. So after year one, you have $5,500. That 500 interest you made got reinvested back into the principal. So after year two, you're sitting at $6,050. As you can see, you made $50 more than you did the previous year. And as you continuously compound that interest back into the principal from year after year, by the time you get to year five, you made $3,000 more than what you initially invested. And this is the crazy part. You didn't even add any more money in it. The interest that you've been accruing, compounding from year to year has just been getting reinvested back into your principal and it's causing your, your savings and, or your, it's causing your mutual fund to increase. And after five years, you made over $3,000. So you do the math. The more money you put in your principal, the more money you re reallocate into that initial principal from year to year, the higher your interest you'll get. The higher, the more interest you'll get. 
even if this stays static, you'll get more interest because you're putting more money into that investment. And this is the beauty of compound interest, and this is the beauty of asset building. When you build an asset that's compounding like this from year to year and putting extra money back into your principal, you will eventually become wealthy. And as the amount of years increases, the amount of interest you get increases and the amount that your initial principal is increases. And eventually, after 20 years plus, this $3,000 becomes over $50,000 and then becomes over $100,000. And you didn't even realize that $5,000 in 20 years can get you upward to $100,000 plus by just sitting it there in a consistent mutual fund. So this is why I'm saying it's so important to understand compound interest because this can change your life. Put that work in. Put that work in. Put that work in. Put, put that work in, put that work in. Put that work in, put that work in. Put, put that work in, put that work in. They got to catch up, cause I'm too fast like you saying. Don't put me in no one-on-one, get cooked up. Well done, came about that low pond, but now I'm swimming with